All right. How's it going, everybody? Um, I, I know I've done this before, but uh, I, I decided that I wanted to test out um, the uh, some, some more Arena Football Road to Glory. Now, I think the last time I played this, it was just a quick play exhibition game with, you know, some of the teams that they uh, they had in here. So, you know, you go through a lot of the AFL teams and then you see a lot of the, um, you know, uh, um, legendary teams, maybe not legendary, but like, you know, the teams that were defunct at that point, including, of course, Iowa. I know I was using Iowa in the last one, um, but I, I was talking about the season mode last time and it was brought to my attention and then I wanted to make sure on my own is that the season mode actually lasts uh, 20 seasons. So I can actually do a new AFL season. And what I actually also found out is I'll just turn the fantasy draft off. Um, what I also found out is that there are 19 AFL teams and you can make at least, yeah, so many teams that don't exist. You know what's actually kind of funny is I think there's actually more. I want to I wanna look back at this real quick. Because I just I just want to look at the the teams at this point, because okay if we go back, I want to see who's actually still here, uh, in this. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I don't think the destroyers are. Uh, the gladiators are the Cleveland gladiators, so technically they're still here. They're just not the Vegas gladiators anymore. They're the Cleveland gladiators. So at least there's one. Um, I can't remember if Grand Rapids Rampage is still around. Arizona Rattlers moved to the IFL. Um, I know that. <laughs> Chicago Rush is done. I don't think the Sabercats are still around, or they might have moved. The Soul is still there. The Soul is still in the AFL. Destroyers are a thing. Okay. I think Tampa Bay Storm might still be around. I want to say Tampa Bay is still around. Um, Iowa, Iowa is one of the defunct teams in here, but they're in the IFL. Um, let's see here. Nobody's done. New Jersey Gladiators. The soul still exists. Sabancho so has an ongoing tax write-off. <laughs> you might not be wrong. Um, trying to see here. I thought the Yard Dogs were. I don't think they're still around. Um. Let me see here. The Green Bay Blizzard are in the IFL. Um, God, I think that might be about it. Um, I don't think Stockton's still around. Spokane, I, uh, Quad City's in the IFL. There's more. <laughs> There's, you know what? You know what's kind of funny? <laughs> okay. So between the Rattlers, the Rattlers, the Blizzard, the Steam Wheelers, and the Barnstormers, there's more active teams in the IFL in this game than there is in the AFL anymore. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny, is there is teams where I'm like, oh yeah, they're still they're still around. They're in the IFL. <laughs> so yeah. More teams, more teams in this game exist now in the IFL than in the current AFL. How more teams exist in general in the IFL than the AFL. I think the AFL is like five or six teams and the IFL's ten. So there's at least that. But either way, I got way off track. I apologize. That was four minutes of <laughs> anyone who wanted to learn about uh, indoor football. So as you can see, I'm just going to go through and uh, and uh, replace every I can replace every AFL team with a team that I created. Now, I could have um, what I could have done is I could have taken the real AFL rosters at the time and just replace the teams. But what I opted to do is I made everyone. There's like three different levels there was like a um, 
there was like, a, you know, I think in the early Madden games, you could pick like, do you want like a cream puff team? Do you want like an average team or do you want an all Madden team? So I made a bunch of, uh, I made every team an average team. So everyone's going to be kind of on the same playing field throughout this. So that'll that'll at least be that'll at least be pretty okay. So we'll we'll uh, replace pretty much everyone here in this, and we'll be creating our own um, indoor football league, which at this point is is not a um, a huge stretch considering there's so many just uh, football leagues out the uh, indoor football leagues out there. I think the only thing that makes it somewhat unrealistic is there's actually 19 teams. <laughs> Cream puff. I think that's what they call it. Cupcake. Okay, sorry. All right, wrong pastry. Fuck. <laughs> you you understood what I meant. <laughs> AFL, what's that? So yeah, I made a bunch of teams and I think they're mostly like Midwest, South, Mid-South and East Coast teams. I think I kept everyone sort of on the eastern half of the United States. So um, yeah, with everyone changed over, I did make a small logo um, up here in the corner. Uh, let me see here if I can like expand upon it. So I'm calling it IDF Indoor Dynasty Football and made a, uh, a an appropriate uh, logo. Just a very simple logo. I don't really have a good place to put it right now that I can just put it like throughout the entire deal. And uh, it'd be tucked out of the way. I thought about the top half over here, but, or the top corner, but I think that would still be in the way during games. So I'll have to figure it out. So either way, um, let me see here. So yeah, just the one team. We won't do a fantasy draft. But as you can see here, the Omaha Invaders, Memphis Enigma, Tulsa Silverbacks, Birmingham Bats, Carolina Chimera, Louisville Minotaurs, Jacksonville Sharks, St. Louis River Rats, Sioux Falls Warriors, Atlantic City Aces. Yeah, the I is missing in that is because there's literally like one. It's it's like you can only put like 11 characters in there. So I is like, OK, I can either take out the I or it's just Atlantic Sit Aces. Uh, Buffalo Yetis, Cleveland Wolves, Detroit Hot Rods, Baltimore Raptors, Milwaukee Zombies, Pittsburgh Kings, Houston Toros, San Antonio Buzzsaws and uh, my own team, uh, the Iowa Predators, because I figured if we're going to do this and I'm going to take over a team, uh, might as well have uh, an Iowa team, because why not? Atlanta County Aces. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? You, you make a good point. I kind of that's all right. So take over an Iowa team. Why not? And uh, see where we are at. So I think immediately we're just going to see what our rosters look like. Because I think they kind of randomize it uh, to start. So we got we got a couple guys who've been around for five years. I think what I want to do... Um, I think the first thing I want to do is find a quarterback of the future. So I want to see instead of doing maybe I could do a trade, but I think my first thought is to try to look at uh, potential rookies like that. OK, that that's a good one. Uh, Chris Hardy, Thomas Bundy. I see that they they want to get paid quite a bit. I could do this guy at 123K. He's an 83 overall rookie, Blaine Hamilton. Um, I got a million in cap room, so. I might do that. Let me see. Dumb era game. So much metagaming, but it was also hokey in retrospect, but in the best way. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Maybe there's a good idea. here. Oh, yeah. See some 21 year old guys. Uh, you know what? I think I might do Hamilton just because he seems to have a lot of speed here. He has good away. Oh, my God. Look at that. 99 awareness. Agility. Acceleration. Uh, let's see here. Carrying jump. Well, how about his actual, there you go. Throw power, throw accuracy. All right. Um, Bundy seems to be kind of better all around in comparison, to be honest. He's not as fast as I'd like him to be, but, um, he's also one of the more injury prone guys, but I think that would be, 
okay. His speed is bad, but I don't think I'm going to go scrambling in this game. This game was not kind. I will say this. From what I remember, this game was not kind to the running game. Absolutely not kind to it. So um, I guess I'll go with Thomas Bundy. Uh, yeah, his awareness is strong. His agility is pretty good, and I think uh, I think he'd be the guy. And he's the he, he's one of the cheaper ones. He's an eighty-one overall, so it's a bit of a downgrade. But see if I can. How long can I get him for? Seven years. Okay. So let's just see how much money we can pile on here to get him to join. And uh, usually, when you pay for a guy, pay big money for a quarterback. It's not going to be a, a bad thing. I'm going to wait. Go one more click. There we go. So we'll go about yeah, 1.31 million. The yearly breakdown is he gets about 188k. So we we up him to a little under 200k, but we can get him for seven years. So we would uh, <laughs> push into a speaker. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is definitely a bit of a hokey game, but uh, seven years for a, a guy to hopefully develop. He's twenty one. He's already an eighty one overall. Uh, big boy, six three two twenty four. Uh, let's see if there's anything here that I would need to know. His power and accuracy is great. His injury is pretty good. He expects one hundred and fourteen k. So I bet you if we can trade Massey, we could probably get somebody else so that's accepted so we have our quarterback for the future and I'm thinking we can try to trade the quarterback we have he's making 60k so you know <laughs> and we'll try to find what do we need here here what can we use Let's go. We could go for a good wide receiver. Uh, what's he at? This is. Can I see how old he is? What is his age? What is his? Oh, he's twenty-one. Okay, so this is a twenty-one-year-old dude. So we might keep him. Um, but we might, uh, we got a lot of good wide receivers, man. I want to see, uh, I also want to see their age here. 21. Holy Jesus. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, whoops. Oh my God. There we go. 22. Uh, this Thomas guy, he's 22. Yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and keep these guys. So <laughs> maybe a kicker <laughs> trade an 85 overall quarterback for a kicker. Like, listen, we need a fresh kicker. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe. Yeah, I think if we can try to get one of these guys. All right, so we'll see who we can get for. Whoops, that's not what I want. I want that, and I want to see who's got better guys. 84. We'll try 86. They don't. Uh, they don't seem to like that. Okay. Um, try the 84 guy. Nah, he doesn't seem to like that. Okay. I'm trying to give them something in return. So who could I potentially grab? Okay. Eh, they're still kind of negative on the interest here. So um, I wonder if they'll, they'll let us take one of their bad quarterbacks. No, he's still got a lot of value to him. I'm trying to improve the team here, but there's they're not helping us out here. Eh, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take it. 
There you go. We we got a little bit of an upgrade there, and we pushed out our uh, our our twenty nine year old quarterback in favor of our twenty one year old rookie quarterback of the future, Thomas Bundy. He's already getting paid uh, one hundred eighty eight k for the next seven years. So we got him locked in. We got him. We got him. Alex Ovechkin here. So you can move along like this. Auto reorder here. Uh, no. Uh, Bundy's going to take his place. Bundy's going to be the guy. He's going to be the one going out there. Maybe call up Terrell Owens. <laughs> so Rocco Payne, the guy we just got. That's good. Uh, what, is he, what is he looking at here? 25, four years, okay. Notre Dame. Oof. All right. I think it's a good start. Oh, you know what I need to do before? Oh, I'm going to cancel that because um, I think it might be my arena football. Yeah, I think it's. No, it's not this. Hang on. I just want to make sure. We're not going to save it right now. I just want to make sure. Yes, I want to make sure we go down to five minutes because. I think that'll be a little too long to do, like, six minutes or more. We'll go ahead and save this real quick. And this is, uh, I'll just call it what it is, IDF Indoor Dynasty Football. So, 19 teams in a league, which <laughs> I don't think any arena league at this point in time, um has 19 teams. I think you have to put about four of those uh, leagues together to get 19 teams. <laughs> hey, Locke, what's up? Ted Bundy's son. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so let's take a look at the schedule here. We are facing the Houston Toros. That'll be the first one. Let's take a look at the matchup here. Okay, we definitely got them. They definitely they have us on special teams, but we seem to be uh, just a little bit better, slightly better on offense, same on defense, and they definitely have us on special teams. We might need to think about a kicker at some point, but I think we'll be okay. Did I get this game off Steam? I did not because this game is... Oh, God, when did this game come out? 2003? This is a PS2 game, I guess. <laughs> I'll just put it like that. This game is a PlayStation 2 game. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I, uh, I, I, own, I own the game and, and was able to burn it to play on an emulator. They do not have this on Steam. It would be kind of cool if they had this on Steam, but they no, they do not. <laughs> I guess I should say that. This game is not on Steam. This is a PlayStation game that was made in 2003 for a league that uh, currently only has about six teams in it and... Uh, has a lot of defunct teams. Whoops. There we go. And I think I think we're just good to go. All right, so first week officially. After I spent 20 minutes making sure we had something somewhat of a team. I haven't seen this game in a long time, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a fun game. I like it. I especially like the fact that they it's such a goofy game. It really is such a goofy as hell game. Cuz it's like this is not what arena football looked like I think at any point. <laughs> like of course the field, but like the darkened lights and like they really tried to make this they really tried to make an arena football game look more like a spectacle than it really was. It was like it was just football just in an arena. I thought they were done making arena football games. They probably are. If there's any, if there's arena football in a video game, it's going to be like an indie company. It's going to be like something like Maximum Football or Axis Football. <clears throat> and they're going to receive, which is good. This will kick. I was going to kick anyway. 
All right. I used to be pretty good at this. I used to be pretty good at hitting the goalpost, which is great because the AI just doesn't know what to do if it bounces off a goalpost. Whoops. That's a little too far left. That's all right. That works. Whoops. Oh, my God. That was terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible tackle attempt. Holy Christ. All right. What do you want? This The, the AI in this game really picks like the same like four plays which is fine ah suck it oh 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 my god really are we gonna do this again <laughs> i just got i just had to deal with that crap in mutant league football god damn it so that's the first official score in Iowa Predators history is a safety. Where is I looking at that tackle? I don't know. How great is it that that is the first official score? And oh, God, our first official score in history is a safety. After we kick the ball, God knows how many times into the end zone. Why is it so slow? Um, I think you can speed up the game. I think you can technically speed up the game. It's, uh, I think, yeah, I'd have to look. Might also just be the emulator, but it's running pretty okay. I'd have to, I'd have to look and see. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't think I can. Uh... I don't think I can change the abilities of, yeah, I don't think I can do, let me see here. Uh, penalty, no. Yeah, I don't think I can change, I don't think I could change it as much as I would like to. System, no. I think it just runs kind of slow. Your guy just broke my speaker. It's awesome the fullback is in the MLB and running back. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, we got it. Good job. Like I said, the, the dimmed lights and the red spotlights and everything, it's like, man, football, like arena football is not this much of a spectacle. The closest it came to this much of a spectacle is when the L.A. Kiss were a thing. When fucking Gene Simmons owned an arena football team and he had like go-go dancers up by the top of the nets. That was, that was the closest thing to a spectacle I've seen in arena football. And those go-go dancers didn't last very long, as far as I remember. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we... Oh, shit! Ah, uh, I deserve that. I kind of tried to throw the ball away, and that's what happened. God damn it. Threw off his back foot, and that's what happened. It's still 2-0. to zero. It's probably about to be 2-7. to seven. Mm. Whoops. Oh, shit. That's a penalty. I accidentally tackled the uh, quarterback. <laughs> I, accidentally, I accidentally pressed the tackle button and then just wallop the, t the quarterback right after. Whoops. Ugh. Damn it. All right, that's fine. Oh, back when Russell Athletic was something you didn't just find in uh, Walmart. I'll return it left. As I say, Russell Athletic, I think, is literally just... 
Clearly just a Walmart brand at this point. Yep, that's what I'm supposed to do usually. That's what I try to do. Ooh. All right. And we'll just take that play. I like to let the AI f figure out what I should play. And then sometimes they'll just be like, nah, I don't feel like doing that one. All right, QB of the future. Oh, shit, that's way overthrown. I tried. Uh... There we go. Line up. There you go. Uh, uh, oh, God. All right. So he is still a rookie. He still has issues with... Uh, he, he still has some issues with... Uh, let's do that one. With uh, accuracy. <laughs> I should probably do some short passes. Oh, there you go. Ooh. He almost overthrew him, and he was so wide open. Warren Buffett bought Russell Athletic for $600 million. Interesting. All right. I'm never the biggest fan of, uh, of the running game, but I did at least turn up the run blocking, so we should have a chance? Maybe? Not really. <laughs> I think I think the key is not running right up the middle. I think that's the big the big key there. Get get out of the, the uh. Oh shit. Got it. Hey, he got it. All right. Good. Now we got an official touchdown. <laughs> An official touchdown is a good thing. All right. Not screw that kick up. <clears throat> Last year, they were a public company. They had a revenue of one point four three five billion. Well, if you're in, if if you're if you're the um, the sole, if you're the main, um, if you're the main like sportswear and activewear brand at Walmart, I would expect you to have those sort of numbers. Like how and one is still a thing. You might not think about and one still being a thing, but they probably make a shitload of money because they're a Walmart brand. <laughs> Running back is slower than my grandma on bingo night. And he was a white guy. He's like Toby Gerhardt, you know. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Toby Gerhardt was like okay for like a season. <laughs> so was Peyton Hillis. <laughs> you know, it really seems like every the, there's a lot of white running backs in the NFL who get like one season to show that they're worth something, and then after that they're just garbage. That's why here in indoor dynasty football, you don't even get that full season. That's just who we have. Oh, God. That's actually just who we have. It's actually <laughs> Toby Gerhardt actually changed his name, and now he's playing for an indoor football team. Pretty sure he doesn't play for a, uh, for a uh, NFL team of any caliber anymore. Damn it. Also, I can also hear the slowdown sometimes during menus, so it's like, yeah, this game still kind of has its frame rate issues, but could be a lot worse. Ah, oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> that part's fun. All right, 9-7 to seven in the first quarter. This is truly feeling like a 2019 indoor football game. It's like you either either no one scores all that much or one team just goes off for like 30. You know, that's just how it goes. 
of any caliber. Just call them the Browns, the Lions, and the Raiders. <laughs> hey, the Browns were, they were okay. The Lions and the Raiders, not so much. Or the 49ers. Oh, God damn it. All right. Well, I would like to get a stop on uh, on defense at some point. That is one thing in this game is that getting a stop on defense is quite the uh, it, it's quite the the harrowing. Oh, he's just gonna kick it right through. Cool. No. In fact, I'm going to throw it to him. Let's see. Who is it? Payne. Oh, we just picked this dude up. Let's see how Rocco Payne does when he's the hot route. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Oh, oh God. I think maybe if we lasered it a little bit more, he might have been able to do it. I don't know. He gave him an opportunity. He's still the hot route, so we'll see what we can make him do here. There you go. All right. I'll take that. Lions have. What do they have? With their luck, they won't have him for long. Oh, Mayfield, though, yeah. Here we go. Stafford, Stafford must be. I don't know how much money Stafford's getting to still play for the Lions. Poor Stafford could probably win a ring if he played for a half competent team. Oh, damn it. I thought he was running away and. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I thought he was running away far enough that he wouldn't catch it, but I guess not. That's all right. This will just make a great comeback story in the end. Don't worry about it. Stafford's the Trent Dilfer of our time. Eh, is he, though? I don't know how many people look at Trent Dilfer as like, man, uh, <laughs> Trent Dilfer was underrated. I, I, was Trent Dilfer really underrated? Ugh. God damn it. Tyler taking L's tonight. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Oh, he's so open. He still couldn't make it. Dilfer is the musical chair every desperate team sat in at one point because he was not terrible. <laughs> you know you know who that was um 10 years ago that was fucking brady quinn brady yeah gus Ferrat. that fitzpatrick oh yeah dude fitzception oh my god yeah brady quinn was also that guy Oof. well he made it should probably try to pass to someone else <laughs> All right, so let's not throw picks. Oh, shit. Eh, no. Oh, damn it. Close. All right, I'm going to try to keep it uh, relatively uh, short game, I think. Tyler needs to score right here. Tyler needs his six points. There you go. Fuck. Come on. Interference. You gonna get a you're gonna get a flag? No? Alright. I thought he really got in the middle of that one. Okay. You know, I've been playing this game a little bit the last couple days. I've been doing really well. It's only when I'm like actually physically um playing on stream, that's when I can't play this game. It kind of irks me that this is the point, the position I'm in right now. 
Because it's like, God damn it, I am not bad at this game. Right down the middle. Wasn't the AFL's thing that they'd let people keep the balls that flew into the stands? Um, I don't know about the AFL because they always had the big nets, but uh, I know that IFL games, because the IFL does not use the big nets, and that was one thing that confused me the first time I went to a Barnstormers game when they first joined the IFL. I'm like, why are there no nets? And it's like, oh, it's kind of the same thing, except the IFL doesn't. Oh, my God. What am I doing with myself? What am I doing with myself? I'm terrible at this. <laughs> I got I got so lucky. Why am I so bad at tackling? The controlling. Everyone's like running on ice. <laughs> Why is the coach standing in the corner like a loner? That's actually what happens uh, in uh, in arena football is the coach will kind of be on the field like five to ten yards back behind the uh, the players. So, like, you see the coach over there like in in arena football, they literally do like stand on the field like about ten yards behind scrimmage. Just right next to the sideline. But, uh, yeah, the IFL doesn't have uh, the big nets. They just have the goalposts. And, yeah, they probably go through, I would say, about a dozen balls a game uh, through either missed field goals or um, I, saw, I saw one game where the quarterback threw the ball so far away, like he was just trying to, like, get the ball out of the area and threw it so much out of the area that it just um, ended up, I'd say, like, 10 rows back in, like, one of the corners. Like, it wasn't even near near anyone. It was so far away from someone. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Whose sad coach is that? I think that might have It was either theirs or mine. Probably mine. The way things have been working out. I mean, it is a two-point game, so that's good. The irony in the fact that we started this with a safety, but still we're two points down. Yeah, I know. It was... <laughs> Give me a break. It's midnight. It's already past my bedtime. I'm running on, I'm running on like pure caffeine at this point. I'm liable to say stupid shit. Ah, fuck you! There you go. Ooh. Ooh. What's up? Our defense is something to behold right now. God damn. <laughs> Penalty? We've had we've had a safety, a pick six, and now a fumble return for a touchdown. I'd say our defense is putting in more work than our offense at this point. And we're back in the lead. 26-21. <laughs> Where's your guy going? I don't know. All right. I'm just going to do what they do. I'm going to try to kick it right in between the uprights. I'm going to kick it towards the middle. And uh, if it lands right in the middle, great. If it bounces off a crossbar, that works too. There you go. Right through the middle for a touchback. It's nice because it puts the ball on the five. So gives them a lot of, uh, a lot of space there. They have, they have a whole lot of field to work with. Oh, my God, dude, our, our fucking outside linebacker, man. He just runs over dudes. That this dude, this man is disgusting in his in his abilities here. Justice. That is such an appropriate name for this dude. He is 250 pounds of justice coming at the goddamn quarterback. Holy, honest, just dear Lord. Oh, are they going to run the... I mean, didn't we kick? So 
I don't give a shit if they just run the clock out, honestly. <laughs> we get the ball back at the half. We're not the ones with uh we're not the ones who uh need to probably do something with the This is just poor clock management, honestly. Ah uh-huh. You know what? Call a timeout. We've got we've got time. Can we can we call let's call a timeout. We got we got the opportunity. Let's just call timeout. Because we, at this point, at third down, we still have an opportunity to, uh, we still have an opportunity to get the ball back. Oh my God! Sign this man up to a contract immediately. Oh, we should probably call timeout. <laughs> There we go. We're strategizing in an IDF game. <laughs> hey, clock management is absolutely a thing, even at, in, in indoor football. Oh. Nope. Oh, my God. Are you shitting me? Are you absolutely shitting me right now? Oh my god, come on. Why? Ah. <laughs> uh, oh my fucking god. Come on. Come on. What kind of fucking shit? <laughs> and they're going to get another opportunity. Ah, yeah. Ah, damn it. I was hoping I was going to get tackled with one second left. <sighs> hey, at least these cheerleaders dance in this game. 2K, NBA 2K19 can take a, uh, take a hint from this. <laughs> or at least whatever fuckery that my game has gone through because <laughs> that was such an abrupt end. I didn't touch anything that's such an abrupt end to the uh, to the halftime show Welcome to the AFL oh. okay eh, I mean <laughs> whatever thank you for my support yeah <laughs> I don't really support the AFL at this point. They dance. They also have a skin condition. <laughs> Who's this off-brand Chris Berman? That was the current AFL commissioner. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, there went the table. Poo. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, shit, what did I just do? Okay. I just called an audible on, by mistake. I meant to hit uh, right trigger, and I hit the uh, right bumper. So I meant to hit R2. I hit R1. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, I meant to hit R R2, and I hit R1, so that's all right. Everything kind of washed out there. Oh, oh, come on, Crane. Got to come down with that. That's why you're in That's why you're in this off-brand indoor football league and you're not you're not in the NFL. Can't come down with those passes, buddy. Oh my god, why why did he roll out that way? Ugh. Wow. I was just I don't know what, what the hell just happened there. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go well not go for it, but I'm gonna go for the kick. I think we can easily make this kick. I think we got this. Right through the uprights. Yeah. 
We got a rock star kicker who seems to be putting more points on the board than than the quarterback is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, mom on the AFL. Mom, hello. <laughs> what did you say? Did I hear the word disappointment? IDF. This is this is a tier three indoor football system. This is even worse than like the NAL or the IFL. Like they make like two hundred bucks a game. These guys just play for free. <laughs> they play they play for exposure. Those those figures that we were throwing around aren't, aren't actually true. <laughs> the entire league is just a choosing it's just a choosing beggars Reddit thread. Just going on Facebook. Hey listen, I need to make an indoor football league. I can't pay you but I can give you exposure. <laughs> they, pay, they play to showcase of viability of their organs to the wealthy Chinese. You know what is kind of funny is I don't think it's a thing anymore, but for a season, they actually did have uh, the uh, Chinese Arena Football League. Like the AFL did a Chinese offshoot. So they there absolutely was a Chinese Arena Football League. I don't know if they ever did a second season, but yeah, their first season was literally like five weeks. Kurt Warner got his job bagging groceries because the Barnstormers owner needed someone at his more lucrative business. <laughs> everyone remembers him as the Barns. Everyone in Iowa remembers him as the Barnstormer quarterback, but <laughs> he made more money bagging groceries. <laughs> like hey man listen hy Hyvee pays me that china league still exists uh, i'm not surprised like hey man Hyvee still pays me decent benefits for bagging these groceries i can't i can't just give that up Uh, you know what? I bet you we could run if we do that. I bet you we can make this happen. Ready? Watch me still blow this one. Watch. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Someone check his neck. I think he might be dead. How are we still how are we still in the lead? This is getting sad. That's all right. Rocco Payne is here to save us. Oh god, never mind. We're just gonna get sacked. Defensive line may not stunt or twist with other linemen. Uh yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Thank you for the get out of jail free card. Oh god, I don't wanna run. Uh our running game is just not <laughs> we're running out of speakers. <laughs> Our running game leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is why we're passing. This is why this is why we needed a franchise quarterback. Holy shit. He's an 81 in this in the Oh god. <laughs> more tables, more speakers. <laughs> Uh, the running in these games always suck. Yeah, and I tried. I tried to make sure the run blocking was a lot nicer. Oh, damn it. No, I'm going to go for it. IRL too. I, I don't know. You know, after watching, maybe it's just because Iowa seems to have a knack for getting really good running quarterbacks, but... We got some good, like, our our quarterbacks always seem to be really good at scrambling. I don't know if it's just Iowa C t tends to get some good scrambling quarterbacks for the league. Or, hey, there we go. Or if it's just the way the rules are set. I don't know. 
Oh, no, he's going for it. Yeah, but we got the touchdown. It's all good. It's all good, baby. We got it. We got it. Oh, I about screwed that kick up. There we go. We're there. We're up 15. That's good. That's good. Two touchdowns, especially with the way we've been playing recently. Um, I could use that cushion. And right through the uprights. It's good kicking practice, at least. There we go. Bobby McMillan, yeah. It's like, can you... I don't think there's a lot of guys that could be, like... I don't think there's a lot of, like, well-known guys who came from arena football besides... Jesus Christ, Justice. Justice is crushing people. Besides, like, Kurt Warner. I know there's some guys who became, like, NFL uh, coaches and assistant coaches that came from the AFL. I think it was, like, the Falcons head coach was a uh was a was a prominent uh, AFL guy Ah damn it we were doing so well too Maybe the Browns will be in the AFL next year Yeah Matt Nagy uh Aaron Garcia was uh Kurt Warner's replacement in Iowa I think he ended up as an NFL coach I don't know if it was a head coach but He's definitely a coach. You want another arena football game? Me too. I don't think we're going to see it except for, uh, you know, either maximum football or access football. And I'd more, or I'd more uh, put it probably on maximum football because access, I think, is more focused on just the regular game. Oh. All right. 36 21. Going into the final quarter. This is good. This is a good start. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if Justice is just going to squash the, these guys. Oh. We need to get Justice on a, on a big boy contract. Is IFL the same as AFL? Um, virtually. I mean, they're both indoor football leagues. Uh, I would say if you back out, um, I don't know if the AFL still runs square. Um, oh, damn it. I don't know if the AFL still runs square uh, fields, but the IFL usually just uses um, like uh, hockey, like uh, hockey boards. So the um, it's curved on the uh, end zones. And then, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's decline that. That was that was a thing of beauty right there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, IFL also, they don't have the uh, nets on the side. Literally just a post. They just have the field goal post. So there is no nets to bounce bounce off of. Other than that, I'm trying to think if there's any... I, I want to say there's some other rules that differentiate the IFL from AFL. I think... I can't remember if the AFL still has um, the clock running during uh, extra points. The IFL does that. Oh, man. I, I got hit as I threw, and that... Bobbed it just enough. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Damn it. All right. That's fine. We're still, we still have a lead. We still have a lead. That's fine. And he's a rookie. He'll, uh, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll do it. He spun on you too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Ugh. Months, can you? Something screwy with the uh, with the control stick. I might have to redo some uh, some control stick stuff. 
Oh God. <laughs> hey buddy, uh, 89. You saw that guy and you ran past him. The fuck, man. Let's take a look at this. I just want to show you all. Uh, so, as as you see, whoops, as we as we move over to eighty nine, he sees the guy, and opts and starts running towards him, but then the opts not to block him to try to block uh, nobody, <laughs> and then lets me get my ass kicked. Thanks, EA. All right. Uh, ah! Whoops. <laughs> I should have just taken off. I should have just the 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 guy's not a scrambling quarterback though is the only thing. So it's like, well, All right, open, open, open. Oh, come on, you slow piece of crap. Run. You had so much space and you couldn't get in. <laughs> that also is a fairly accurate representation of uh, after what happens after big plays in the IFL. I, I tend to see a few of those, a few of those, uh, a few of those confrontations like that at a Barnstormers game where uh, it, I'm just sitting here thinking I'm like if this was hockey they would have dropped gloves to just fight. <laughs> really? Did you not just see the fact that we just lost two and now you think we're just you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it your way, game. We're at negative seven yards rushing. <laughs> Yeah, there's no play-by-play -play in this. Let's try it your way, game. Oh, look at that. That did swimmingly. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, that was not a great pass. Um, God. All right, let's just, let's just go for the points. Because if we make the field goal, if we make the field goal, that at least still forces them to have to make a touchdown. So they still have to hit a touchdown because of that. God, he's so excited that he hit that. <laughs> God! All right. Come on. There you go. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. Pretty much. He tried. He tried. <laughs> He's like, no, I want to take it back. As long as we force him to go 45 yards down the field. Where's Justice? Where's Justice? Wait, where is Justice? Justice isn't here. There's no Justice on this team. That's what happened. There's no Justice right now. There's Justice. All right. Let's get this quarterback. Up, oh, up. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh You know what? Uh yeah. We'll take it. Why not? Even if it's first and 19. You have to come all the way back to your own 16. All right, Justice, you know what to do. You know what to do. Oh, he was he was there, but they moved him the other way. 
All right, I got to see if I can give this dude a contract. <laughs> I got to give this dude a contract, man. Oh, no, he fell. Almost had him. Uh-oh. Minute 26. But you can you can score a touchdown quicker than a hiccup in this game. As JR would say. <laughs> quicker than a hiccup. Six years, $100 million for justice. <laughs> $100 million justice. All right, all right. It's fourth and thirteen. Are they gonna go? F are they gonna? Is that a? Are they set up for a kick? They are set up for a kick. Huh. Well, they did pretty good when they weren't forty yards back. So probably make it. No, he didn't make it. Damn. All right. So I think the point. Oh. This game, man. Uh, yeah, I still don't trust our running game. But I could keep the clock moving somehow. Bundy, you can thank our defense for our success today. Shit. All right. So this game isn't over yet. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on now. <laughs> One guy was talking about how there's no bad NCAA football game. He hasn't played NCAA 07 on the 360. I don't think I have either. But yeah, those early football games when the next gen like in the when the like the PS3 and 360 generation first happen. Oh my god. Oh no, that's going to be a penalty, isn't it? No. Okay, good. I'm like, he kind of more just fell over him than anything. PS2 version's better. Yeah, I've played the PS2 versions of the game. But yeah, when they when they hopped into the 360 PS3 generation, I think the first game or two of both Madden and NCAA was just hot garbage. I'm coming for you. All right. Third and four. <sighs> We're still we're still in this. We're still in this. I don't know if I mentioned uh oh god almighty. Oh that is something to see come oh my god dude uh, Justice is getting so paid the minute I can get a, I can pay him. Holy shit. This dude is a freight train. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Justice needs a career in the WWE. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, God, I don't like this. You know what? I'm going to call a timeout because I don't know what they're going to try here. Because if they get a touchdown, I need enough time to try to get down the field. I'm not going to let them. Uh, oh. You know, oh, God, this is this is going to be this is going to be painful. Oh, man, they're going to go for the win right here, man. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I think they're going to go for the tie here. All right. They're going to try to take this to overtime. Now, why run it there? I don't know. What is Arthrite? And this game has no respect for joint health. This, care, this game should just be called Fuck Your Neck. Jesus. You know the net's right there. All right. Well... So it looks like we're headed to overtime. 
Damn, what a what a comedy of errors between each team. Holy Jesus. Unless I can run this back. Nope. <laughs> Why is there another ball just sitting at the sideline? Why did he just run through the wall? <laughs> All right. I got to admit, I don't know how this works. So I'm probably going to receive and find out. Because I don't know if it's going to be like sudden death or not. So we'll see. This game is bonkers. There's been like, there's been two safeties, two pick sixes, a, a fumble return for a touchdown. God knows how many interceptions. <laughs> it's just insanity. All right. All right. Rocco. 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 Oh, too far. Too far, too far, too far. Ooh. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. What do you got? All right. All right. I can, I can, I can deal that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, Crane. Yes. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I never did post it on my uh, Twitter, but I did end up finally getting a uh, game-worn jersey for the Barnstormers. They had uh, Veterans Night and special Veterans Day jerseys. It's really nice. Crane. Oh, 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 oh. oh he almost intercepted that off the wall. But, uh, yeah, because I, I literally had thought to myself before the Veterans the veterans. Uh, game that i was like uh oh man i have i have a game worn like uh iowa wild hockey jersey but i don't have a barnstormers one and then they're like oh yeah we're auctioning we're auctioning off uh barnstormers ones I'm like oh damn i want one i gotta say they're very comfortable but they really are like i i even have like one of the big linebackers ones like it's a 3x but it's still super tight. Like everything, because it's a football jersey, it's like, okay, I'm used to like hockey jerseys that are like very loose. It's still comf. Oh, shit. That's not a good, that's not a good place to throw it. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go for that. God, that, that, I really, I really, I think I passed to kind of the same guy multiple times. So. That was really on me there. Ooh, yeah, that's going in. No doubt. I really wish I had gotten it in the end zone, but I probably should have tried to pass to somebody else. All right. At least we got at least we got that on the board. Oh, shit, the Rattlers still exist. They're in the IFL. Yeah. Uh, they're at the head of the IFL right now. As far as I know, 12-0. and 0. You Watching EA E3? Probably not. I don't care enough about whatever EA is putting out. The only thing I would care... Uh-oh. Where's... There's no justice. Oh, no, we might lose because there's no justice. Oh, Jesus. The only thing I'd literally care about at this point out of EA is if they announce the next NHL game being on PC. That's pretty much it. That was some yakky sack shit. All right, Justice, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, buddy. Oh, it literally took two guys to keep him there. There you go. Yeah. I just like I I saw I skimmed through like the Microsoft one and I'm like it's an hour and a half of trailers for games that like okay I kind of care about but eh screw it not ostrich 
Ah, what's up? What's up? Come here, coach. <laughs> yeah, 48-39, Iowa getting the win in overtime with the pick six. Oh, shit. That was dope. That was dope. <laughs> what a game. What a first game. <laughs> Arena football winning the game with defense. Immersion fucking shattered. I will tell you right now that that is definitely a thing in the IFL. <laughs> I have seen too many times... Uh, we got, I'd say just this season alone, Iowa has gotten bailed out of some games by uh, really strong defense. <laughs> There's been a lot of moments where it's like, oh shit, we're going to lose. And then they get like a pick off at the last second. And it's like, oh my God, how did we, how did we manage that? <laughs> This celebration lighting sucks, yeah. Well, I got to say, I really did enjoy that first week. God damn, what a first week, man. Holy shit. I am, I am about it. We'll just use that one. I think that was the one that unlocked all the other teams. So... Now I want to see the rest of week one. So we're the only one that went into overtime. Buzzsaws barely got through. Warriors, let's see here. Bats just destroying Cleveland. That makes sense. Cleveland just getting annihilated. Silverbacks beat the Aces. Let's see here. Damn. Buffalo and Detroit, 47-46. Oh, my God. And then of course our overtime game. All right, some good some good games. I gotta say there, looking looking pretty good. I gotta say. So yeah, let's see let's see how they do the standings. Okay, this is national and American. What is this? <laughs> you know, you were talking about you were talking about baseball last time when it was two nothing, and then the two conferences are national and American. It's like, oh shit, this really is goddamn baseball. All right, so there you go. That is that was week one. Still quite a few more weeks to go, of course. 16, 16 weeks total. And uh, I'll probably do more weeks uh, now that... Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, what I need to see first, if I can do it immediately, um, or if I need to wait. There, you. Um, doesn't look like I can offer him a contract right now, but this dude, Ken Justice. God, it's that is a... That is the manliest name, 6'6", 275, Jesus Christ. This man has is is going to get some uh, going to get <laughs> going to get some money. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, first week in the books. I'll have to do probably more weeks at a, at a later time, but uh, I think I'm I'm pretty pretty well set up right now. Um, trying to think, I think our team's pretty well set right now. Um, so I won't I won't mess with it too much, especially in this first season. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, I kind of I kind of look forward to this. That was a crazy week, man. Holy shit! I I don't even think I would have been remotely disappointed with losing at that point because i'm like that is such a crazy just a crazy week of shit that happened oh my god so much stuff um but yeah i thank you guys for coming out it's been a lot of fun and uh if you're watching this on youtube i thank you very much for continuing well i guess not continuing since this will be the first episode of it uh i thank you for watching this and uh i usually don't i usually don't uh you know um 
like ch- beg for this, and I'm not really begging, but yeah, if you uh, if you if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. It tells me that you guys want to see more of this. Um, it's a good palate cleanser after uh, ripping my hair out, even I, even after winning in uh, Mutant Football League. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.